Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome to my ultimate birdhouse run guide for 2021. In this guide, I'll be showing you everything there is to know about birdhouse runs, and this is an Ironman friendly guide, so I'll show you how to get everything as well. Birdhouse runs are a great way to passively train hunter, and you can just add these into your farm runs or herb runs every day, and you will get so much hunter levels that uh, without even really training the skill, and you will actually make a little bit of money as well. Especially if you're an Ironman account, you get those secondary ingredients and you get lots of tree seeds for future farm runs. Birdhouse runs are so good that I got from pretty much level 900 to 80 strictly from doing birdhouse runs alone. The good thing about birdhouse runs is they only take about one minute to do and you gain about 4, 4.5k hunter XP and you make about 30 to 40k profit in just a minute so it's very worth doing especially even if it's just once a day but you can do these every 50 minutes if you like. So requirements to do this is you're going to need the, bo the bone voyage quest which requires 100 kudos. Um, pretty easy to get the 100 kudos just look up a guide on YouTube very easy to get you just have to complete a bunch of quests and do a little bit of the Barok Museum favor, very easy to do. And the Bone, bone Voyage quest is very simple, it doesn't take too long at all. And uh, that's pretty much the main requirements out of the way, as well as you're going to need some hunter levels. So you can actually start doing birdhouse runs at just level 5 hunter, and you can make the regular traps. And then once you hit uh, level 14 hunter, you can do the oak traps, 24 hunter, willow, 34 teak, 44 maple. Um, 49 Mahogany, 59 U, 74 Magic, and 89 Hunter, you can do the Redwood Birdhouses. Keep in mind you will also need crafting levels as well. I'm going to be leaving a bunch of links in the description about pretty much everything in this uh, guide on how to get it and just leave the wiki page on there for you just so you can click it right away and basically know what to do and uh, how to what levels you're going to need for everything. So obviously the higher birdhouse run you do, you'll get more experience, so it's good that it scales with your levels as well because even just at a, such a low hunter level you can start this and still gain some pretty good XP and pretty good profit as well. Obviously your, your loot will vary um, depending on which type of birdhouse you use, so say if you're using like an oak birdhouse you aren't going to get as much loot as a redwood birdhouse. Um, loot that you can actually get from this is bird's nests and they vary um, depending on which type you get obviously you can get the ring ones, the seed ones, or just the regular ones. You get feathers, there's very uh, rare chance you'll get bird's eggs, the nests from those, and you always get raw bird meat which just goes right to the ground. So yeah, you can make um, every bird's nest is like almost 4k profit and you usually get like with um, the ones that I'm using I was, is magic, I usually get like 3 to 4 every single time so you definitely make a bit of profit. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, hop seeds, clockworks, a hammer, a chisel, and then four of the logs that you're going to take as well as a dig site pendant. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get all this right now. So hop seeds you can get from various sources. You can even buy them in small amounts from the farmers around the game. But the best way to get them in bulk is actually from pickpocketing master farmers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. If you're going to be doing this long term, I highly recommend you get the rogues outfit because you get double the amount of seeds that you would usually get from pickpocketing the master farmers. So if you do have it and plan to do this for a long time, I would highly recommend that you um, get this rogues outfit. I have a guide on my channel on how to get that. But yeah, go to the master farmers. I'm going to be using the ones in the farming guild today. So pretty much once you get here, there is going to be a master farmer right here in the level 65 requirements where the herb patch is and you basically just spam click him. Alright, so it didn't take us too long. We got our first little bit of hop seeds here. We got um, barley seeds. So if you do this for like an hour, for example, you'll get a lot of good herb seeds as well. And you'll have enough um, hop seeds for a long time for doing birdhouse runs. Alright, so making the clockwork, you need to go to your player owned house and you're going to want to make a workshop. You need level 8 crafting in order to do this and 25 construction for the second level of the um, workshop bench. So basically once you get to your house, just go up to the bench. You're going to need a steel bar as well. Go up to it and select 
make a clockwork mechanism. And there you go, you have the clockwork now. Now for the dig site pendant, this is the hardest one to get, um, but you can actually go ahead and get this while you're collecting your 100 kudos if you like. Basically you have to clean things, um, artifacts in the museum, and you get this thing called the clean pendant, and once you take it to them, you um, will get the unlock to make the ruby pendants that you can enchant and they will become into dig site pendants. So while you're going for your 100 kudos, um, I highly recommend that you go ahead and do this um, so that you have this unlock so you have this for the future. It makes getting there a lot easier. And if you have 82 construction, you can actually make one in your house that's um, unlimited teleports, but it is pretty expensive to do that. So if you're going to be doing this long term, I would recommend that you do get this in your house so that you have unlimited teleports and you'll never forget it and it will never run out of charges. But um, that's for a pretty long term game, but you can just go ahead and make one now. It doesn't take too long at all. Okay, so the first time you go there, you're going to have the dig site unlocked, the only thing on the pendant, so just go there. and run east and then quick travel with this guy right here okay so you have to unlock a bunch of teleports throughout the island i will leave a link in the description to the wiki page on how to do that it takes you about five minutes very simple you just have to walk around the island click the little magic mush tree and it will activate it for the first time and then you can pretty much get there a lot easier so i'll go ahead and show you the four spots for birdhouse uh runs today so yeah when you first get to the island here there will be a little agility shortcut that you can go through or you can just run this way so i'll just quickly go ahead and show you where all the locations are the first one i'm just gonna run east And you kind of see it on the map here a little bit. There's like a little birdhouse icon. This is the first one. So when you get to the trap for the first time, you all you have to do is use your log on the clockwork and you'll actually make the birdhouse. As you can see, you can craft the birdhouse right here. And then to put it into the trap, all you have to do is just click build. And to activate it, you just have to use any of the hop seeds on it. Okay, so this is the first location. It is right here on the map. I'll show you the second location now. So just run north. Okay, so this is the second location for the birdhouses. It is right here on the map. I'm going to go ahead and do this one really quickly. So now for the next one, this is one of the magic mush trees that you need to activate. And then you can go through it. So just go through it. and click Viridian Valley. This one's really nice because they're both right beside each other here. As you can see on the map, there is two um, of the birdhouses um, on the map right here. We're actually just right here on Fossil Island. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these two ones really quickly as well. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of a birdhouse run. So I'm going to go ahead and wait 50 minutes and then show you how I basically do a quick, efficient run. And then we'll see how much money that we can make in just one simple run and as well as hunter experience. Alright guys, so I'm at the bank and I'm going to be doing how I efficiently do a birdhouse run. So 
What I have equipped is just full graceful. That's it, nothing else. If you want, you can bring a dig site pendant as well, but I actually have one in my house. So in my inventory, I have a hammer, chisel, my um, hop seeds, my teleport to my house, and then the four logs that I need. So just start off by getting to the dig site. I'm gonna be using my house. What I recommend you do is once you have this unlocked, just click Fossil Island. Use the magic mush tree and go to Viridian Valley. This is where we're going to be knocking out the first two really quickly. Next, use the next magic mosh tree and go to house, or sorry, yeah, go to uh, Mushroom Meadow. Let's run north to the other patch. Patch, I meant birdhouse. <laughs> Once this one, just run completely south. And do the last one. And boom like that, we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how much XP and how much gold we made in just that one minute. So as for gold, we made 35.2k in one minute. And obviously we could get lucky with the seeds in the bird's nests. So an average of about 30 to 40k like I said. And you could make hundreds of K if you open up and get like a magic seed or something like that. As for XP, we gained 30 magic XP. That was just from teleporting to my house. 4,560 hunter XP in just one minute. So it's very worth doing. As you can see, the XP per hour is slowly going down, but it was at like 200 K. And the crafting XP is just 200 as well. So it's a little bit of passive crafting XP. But yeah, overall, very easy to do. It takes like one minute once you've mastered it and you can make some pretty good money and pretty passive XP. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this new birdhouse guide for 2021. Hope it helps you. If it does, leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later.